How's it going, everybody? Quite an interesting development today to see that Wayfair has been trending. Everyone's been posting these pictures of these storage cabinets for like $15,000. Now, furniture can be expensive, but these aren't $15,000 cabinets right here. There's a ton of different screenshots. I went there and checked. It's been since taken down, but there is enough different screenshots to know that this, is, this was real up until, I guess, this morning. Now, it seems that if you come to Rika Minor, she gives a little insight into how this all came about. She's saying that Ghislaine Maxwell had a Reddit account, which this is something I saw yesterday, that she had been crazy active on Reddit and actually posted for 14 years up until her arrest. So I guess people had been going through her account until, you know, before it got erased. And she goes on to say that people had saw that during a live, a celebrity was asked if it was all real. And they sung the Wayfair song. And then that people went digging. And this is what they found. And of course, it's got posted to the Art Conspiracy on Reddit. And um, they're finding that these storage units lined up with the names of people who were missing. For instance, you got Alvia Storage Cabinet. Well... Makai Alvia Bassingham has been missing since March 28, 2018. You have Samia Storage Cabinet. You have Samia Moom missing since May 6, 2019. Yaritza Storage Cabinet. You have Yaritza Castro missing since about three weeks ago. You have this person on Twitter. She actually found more because apparently those are some of the screenshots, but there were even more. So she's showing some of the ones that I just showed, but then she takes even more. Here's one, Annabelle. Annabelle Wilson, missing for about two months. Here's one, Kalia, $12,000. Kalia Coleman, missing since January. So that is crazy shady. And then, you know, then someone was also showing that they sell throw pillows on here. For $10,000 each with a different name. And they're calling it a Ely Zodiac or Dorit Zodiac. And see, they have all different zo Zodiac signs, but these aren't names for Zodiac signs. If you look up Ely Zodiac, this just comes up. It's not like, oh, that's just some other name for that sign. No, this just sends you to this. Which, surprise, surprise, Samandre Ely has been missing since December of 2017. If you come here now and go back down to this one, Duplicis, you'll see Samara Duplicis, 13, has been missing since May. Also, if we go back here, it seems that they have, in real time as I'm doing this, changed these prices. Wow, that is incredible. Um, or maybe it just switched it back to low to high. No, this is still high to low. Wait, hold on. Let me see. All right, let's go low to high. Okay, it's not even showing those pillows. Oh, that's weird. Um, right, Let's go back to high to low. Whoa. They're gone. They wiped these in real time. Okay, it's funny. And later on the video... Because this is actually, as I'm editing, I was adding this into the middle. I say, oh, I hope they get rid of these <laughs> while they're up on screen, I believe. Um, well, let me see if I click back. Click back again. Okay, so if I click back, they're still up here, at least temporarily. I guess before they completely wiped them off, they kept them at $33, $32.49. Uh, let me see if I click back again, if it'll go back up to the high price. No, okay. The prices have been changed in real time to these pillows. And that changed in between 2.08 and 12.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As we go back into the rest of what I recorded about an hour ago. This is highly weird. $10,000 for a pillow? I mean, I know people, I know rich people get a little ridiculous with their spending, but this is insane. There's no way that this they're actually selling a $10,000 throw pillow. And again, they've taken down the cabinets because that's mostly what everyone's been talking about this morning. There's just too many people who saved it already and who were going through and there's just all different screenshots and some for different aspect ratios and everything. So this was up there up until this morning. And like I said, out of six of them that I've seen, five of them turn up missing people. 
And of course, this isn't the first time we've seen things like this. Obviously, if you go to Alibaba, you can type in adrenochrome and stuff like this comes up. Red powder. It looks like freeze dried, I guess, would be adrenochrome. And it's weird because it comes in like says, oh, one to three dollars. But this guy in 57 transactions has thirty thousand dollars he's made. So this is creepy. Obviously, you know, when you know their codes, that's the whole thing. People are trying to figure out what their codes are. So. It's starting to come up. People are starting to find more stuff like this. And, you know, this isn't necessarily Wayfair. Like Amazon, they have third-party sellers. So these are people, you know, probably taking advantage of this platform. Obviously, you can go on Amazon and you can look for a book. Like, for instance, I did a video on this book a couple of months ago. And I was lucky enough to get it a few years back for, I want to say, 30 or 40 bucks. But now, since everyone's looking for this book, here's one. Someone just re-uploaded it for $796. I mean, the book is good, but holy crap, do not spend $800 on this book, all right? Uh, maybe one day I'll post screenshots of every page. I pretty much posted all the major shots of it in that video. But anyway, that's, you know, that people use that. You can upload things for different prices, um, this doesn't seem like someone just bought this throw pillow and is uploading at a weird price. This looks like some shady stuff. These cabinets look like some shady stuff. And, you know, people, this is a huge industry. Everyone knows this industry exists, obviously. So it is not a stretch to think that they would hijack things like Wayfair or Amazon or Alibaba to use code to sell things. So good on Wayfair for taking this down right away. And uh, I think, you know, they should do an internal audit to find out if there's any more because this seems to go back to Ghislaine Maxwell, which we all know what they were all about. So, so it's entirely possible that this isn't the only code they're looking for. You know, just like how people were noticing not too long ago that Tom Hanks had posted this picture. And if you don't know, Tom Hanks posts a lot of creepy stuff with just single gloves and everything. People have found that if you type in SRC the index or all these pictures of little girls come up which you know I don't know maybe it means something else but this is just highly creepy and the reason why that would even be weird in the first place why people started paying attention to Tom Hanks's Instagram is because if you come up here Tom Hanks had posted this historic route 66 roadkill hope not on April 4th, 2019. See, it looks like a little water bottle cap here with a P on it. So a cap with a P. Cap P. Historic Route 66 roadkill. I hope not. All right, that was on April 4th, 2019. And then May 2019, Isaac Cap P jumps to his death off the Route 66 bridge in Arizona. Okay? Now, say, why is that weird? Well, because less than a year earlier, he, this is a guy who had been in different movies, you know, very low level actor. He was in Thor and a few different things. And he had accused many people in Hollywood of being pedophiles, including Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. So Isaac Happy had accused Tom Hanks of being a pedophile in 2018. He's not the only one. Obviously, Sarah Ruth Ashcraft had said that Tom Hanks had bought her as a child and raped her repeatedly. But Isaac Happy accused Tom Hanks of that in mid-2018. April 4th, 2019, Tom Hanks post historic Route 66 roadkill with a cap P. One month later, May of 2019, Isaac Cappy jumps to his death, quote, jumps to his death off the Route 66 bridge in Arizona. Historic roadkill, Route 66. So it's no surprise that when you type in SRC to Yandex, all these little kids come up. Um, maybe it's a coincidence, could be a coincidence, but it just seems that these people talk in code. And now it seems that another one has been found out and taken down, thankfully. And hopefully they're looking into this next because this madness needs to stop. And thankfully, Glenn Maxwell, who was w probably one of the biggest connections to child trafficking and just this awful child rape scene that they had going on down there and connected to freaking everyone is in FBI custody. And this is a big uh, step. And looking into her has produced quite the thread here where we go one, we go all.